Hey guys, I'm Karen LaCasse with Team Get Spoiled, Wendy Chef, hey. and we're so glad that you were able to join us today. Um, we just have a few things we want to share with you, and Wendy and I, our fashion, we're going to try to talk fast, um, but still, <laughs> still, <talking> fast. <laughs> still be able to deliver um, some great information to you guys, so um, I'm looking forward to get started. Happy Valentine's Day, by the yes. way. Um, today is um, a special day for a lot of people, but you know, it's really just another day. So we can have fun celebrating ourselves or our family, our children, our animals, whatever floats your boat, as long as you're having a great day. So without further ado, let's get started. Yay, let's get started. Okay, so uh, Wendy, her nature is to be uh, more in the know of the science behind everything. My nature is um, I'm good with all that science stuff, and I'll probably remember that, but just give me the stuff that works. So um, this month, Wendy really focused on our hormones uh, workshops, more or less, and I focused on the fun stuff. Um, so I know. So we kind of went our separate directions, but this is a great idea for us to come together and be able to kind of pull together what we've both been working on. Yes, so um, we're really excited about that. So, so it's hormones versus hopeless romantic. So don't laugh. Okay, so this is going to be a lot of fun. Research romantic. Yeah. Just give me the stuff that works. I know. Yeah. Okay, but I want to know why. So we're going to talk about both, um, and so we'll just kind of go back and forth with like you know why it works. And then who cares why it works? <laughs> it works, it works. If it works, it works. And I'm like, no, tell me more. So um, I think that just to start things, I would like to just say that, of course, when you're a woman, you're uniquely designed and you have this great cycle going on every single month. And there's, you know, there's always people wondering, like, what can I do to enhance my hormones? Because I do believe that if your hormones were more balanced, that you wouldn't have as many issues with you know, the hopeless romantic side of yourself, because when you're in balance, God designs us to where we automatically just, you know, have all these great pheromones and we play off of one another and we're naturally attracted to those who he puts in our lives. And so um, one of my favorite books, and so we're also battle of the books. So we're battling a whole lot of things here, but so here's my favorite book and it's called Taming the Dragon Within. And here is... Right but I they said the Lucy Libido a couple of months ago, and I've been really digging it. And it's been a lot of fun. <laughs> and I have to tell you a funny story about that because my husband um, heard about Lucy Libido on our Facebook page from my good friend. <sighs> well, and so <laughs> and he ordered it. And he, he ordered it. He has never ordered himself. anything before, much less read a book since like college. And so he read that book. He didn't even know where we keep our oils. They're, you know, tucked away back in this dresser back here. He had my daughter go and get the supplies, like the roller bottles, and asked for to pull out all the things that were in the recipes, and he made it and set it by my bathroom sink. <laughs> See, that should have been very romantic for you. And I was like, I was just so shocked that that meant so much to him. I mean, not that I don't think that that means so much to a man, but it really meant that much that he went that far out of his way, and I was just, That's I was blown away. So he did thank me, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so it is, it's true. I have a hard time having fun um, because I'm too caught up in, like, why things work, but I do think people want to know why. So we're going to talk about some things that came from this book, and Karen's going to talk about some fun Lucy libido tips. Um, but in general, in the first half of a woman's cycle, that is the time to think support, 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 support the hormones. And I have some little notes, so I'm going to be looking down at them because we don't remember all this stuff on our own. Um, just like you guys, we have to look our stuff up in reference books. So don't ever be afraid to use your reference guides. For sure, definitely. I mean, it, it really it is a good idea before you, before you start using any oil to, to do your research on that because we're definitely, we're not doctors that are disclaimer, you know, we're here to help educate you, but we also want you to educate yourself and you need to do that by being sure that you've researched the oil that you know what you're getting into before you just start slapping it on or you can just slap it on and <laughs> figure it out as you go. <laughs> we like experiments in this house. I don't know about y'all, but we really like experiments. Um, okay, so a pretty easy way to remember this is that we're going to split the cycle into two parts. Um, the first half, so about the first 15 days, and then the second half, the next 15 or so days, give or take. That's assuming it's a 30-day deal. Um, so for the first five days or so, 
you're pretty much feeling like a dragon, hence the name, you know, Tame the Dragon. And so, of course, you know, we have this fantastic little oil called Dragon Time, if I can find it. And so, it's probably still in my bathroom. Um, I thought I should have had it. But anyway, there's one called Dragon Time. And I love to put a roller top on that one and just slather it on. You can go lower abdomen. You can go the, the thin skin areas like your inner arms, inner thighs. And the Dragon Time just really helps to start taming down some of that fire that you have going on. Some of those real fiery emotions that you have spinning around in your head and spewing out of your mouth. <laughs> and it also comes in a massage oil. So if you love to get massages or even if you if you just get it, yeah, you know, it looks, the house, looks it's like gonna this. be in an eight ounce it's for the pump. living. Dragon time, it's wonderful. If you uh, go in and get massages, definitely take that and have your massage therapist use that because it is wonderful. It also comes in a shower gel too. Oh yeah. So I like to use the shower gel in that part of the cycle as well. Sure. Um, one of the key ingredients that are in every one of these hormonal blends that we're gonna talk about, because dragon time's obviously a blend, that's not a plant. Um, <laughs> but it's um, clary sage and clary sage is, one of my favorite. it is, yeah. it is just, it's very feminine and it's, it's just everything to support the female hormone system. So pretty much everything we're going to talk about has clary sage in it. Um, so you're going to really, really think about supporting because right now during that first half of your cycle, everything's going haywire and uh, you kind of know it because everybody in your house is looking at you like you've lost it. Uh, so it's a good good time to start doing your relaxing bath soaks. So we'll make something like um, Lady Scleral bath salts, and that's super easy to do. You just put about half of this is Epsom salt, some Dead Sea salt, baking soda. The ratios really don't matter. It's like what you like, um, and so that the oils have something to stick to because if you put the oils in your bathtub, they're just going to float on the top. And I just want to show you what we did something really funky and fun. Um, I don't know if you can see with this glare, but we put purple cake sprinkles <laughs> so that it's really cute for Valentine's Day. You it could use cute. like that pink and red amazing. and it smells amazing. And it's just Lady Scleral, which has the clary sage in it and lavender. and lavender. That's all there is. It's super easy. And um, this is a cup, a total of a cup. And in that cup, I probably have about 10 drops of each, Lady Scleral and lavender. And again, you can play with those. There's no perfect way to make your bath salts. When you see a recipe, if there's something that you don't like, then take it out. If there's something you like, then add a bunch more in because there's no wrong way. Um, another thing that you're really going to want to do during the first half of your cycle is to support your thyroid and your adrenals because they're getting totally worn out in this first half. And so Young Living has some great products. One of them is a supplement called Thyromin, and that has the essential oils that will support your thyroid as long as some herbal uh, – Supplement, it's an herbal supplement. So it just has some oils in it as well that will support your thyroid and your endocrine system. And whenever you use the supplements that are oil infused, your body absorbs it a whole lot better. Um, so you're constantly just thinking and thinking about supporting your thyroid and supporting your endocrine. And so another thing that we might use is Endoflex. And let's see, that one I know has a roller top on it. And so the Endoflex is again for your endocrine system. And you can just rub it right on your thyroid and right on your adrenal glands, which are about mid-back on your backside. Okay. And then here we go. We're getting to the peak of things because this is when our most exciting time comes. You're right in the middle of that cycle. Well, guess what that time is? What's the middle of your cycle? What happens in the middle? Do you know? See, she doesn't know why. <laughs> you, you get, you get, uh, everything's yeah, you get it. it. Everything starts leveling out. Your mood is more level. Yes. And you start to feel more playful. Yes, that's exactly right. So, this is when we play. <laughs> yeah, this is when we play during our cycle. And um, it's just, it's when your uh, your estrogen and progesterone are more level. Yeah. And this is the time where your, your pheromones are like really kicking and your husband walks in and he goes, hmm, honey, <laughs> you look really fine today. <laughs> And you're all of a sudden went from dragon lady to going, oh, yeah, you looking good too. So this is the time where you're, you're telling yourself this is your natural fertility time. So for those of you who are in childbearing uh, wishful stages, that's going to ring for a minute, sorry. But this is the time 
that is it's on this is your peak fertility time and the reason that you're so interested in your spouse is, is because that's what god designed as the time for peak fertility so you're attracted to this person more in the middle of your cycle so this is the time to bust out all of those great enhancers and things like that um one of my favorite products and a lot of these products are you, you'll think of that they're for men but they're really for both of you um, and the first one is Mr. And so Mr. Well, let's see. I think I have a new bottle of, yeah, I have a new bottle because our other one has a roller top on it. Can you guess why? Um, <laughs> cause you can roll it on everywhere, not everywhere, but so Mr. Is it's a blend and it does have a little bit of peppermint in it. So it kind of gets things heated up and it can be a little spicy. So you might want to dilute it, and when you dilute, you can use like coconut oil or Young Living Cells V6 in a pump. Um, but you can just apply this on a woman or a man to the thin skin areas, again, like lower abdomen, um, inner thighs. You can even go here and, and into the arms and things like that. Um, so I do want to add one thing that um, I did learn from the Lucy book that just seemed so obvious that I hadn't really thought of is that a lot of these oils they are blends mm -hmm. or they are something really strong from a tree yes um and so because you know a lot of us ladies we're just used to putting oils on and you know our skin is kind of tough or we're too busy to even notice if it's hot or cold mm -hmm. or what um a lot of our men may not feel that way especially when we start blending up different things uh, which we're <laughs> going to talk about in a minute to use on other body parts so one thing that is a great um, idea to do is to apply the oil um, to the to the forearm yeah. um, of your uh, spouse or even yourself before you start mixing up a lot of these different recipes that yeah, we're going to talk right. about just to make sure that you're not getting extra redness or it's mm -hmm. too hot on your skin because if it's hot on your forearm it's going to be hot somewhere else and that's not something that would be any fun it's not that kind of hot well, <laughs> it would be definitely sensational. So, um, you know, like just always, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So just be sure um, you can apply a little to the forearm and then you may even just kind of chase it with a little bit of carrier oil just to make sure it's not going to red the skin or turn anything, mm -hmm. um, you know, colors or be too much of a sensation before you use it in other places. That's right. And I didn't, I, I had never thought of that. You mm -hmm. know, before. Especially because you have to also remember that male carries their parts outside of their body. And so it's sure. equivalent to how we feel on the inside of our body. And if you've ever had anything um, rashed or excoriated or things like that, it's, it's pretty sensitive. And you go putting things in those delicate areas and it's pretty spicy. Right. Um, so you do want to make sure to dilute things down and get it to the proper ratio and consult your reference guides again. Definitely but. consult your reference guides because that would ruin the night. It could ruin a night. You could strategically use that or not. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Mr. is really great for, um, for, I mean, for testosterone. And so a lot of people think, oh gosh, that's just for men. No. One of the biggest reasons that women have low libido is because of low testosterone, especially women over 30. Um, not exclusive to women over 30 because more and more we're seeing it because our hormones are disrupted more and more from our environment and from the food we eat and that's a whole nother show um however so mister can be used in women and in men to increase their libido because it increases their testosterone so you can use it daily if you have you know wanting to enhance your testosterone or you can just use it um at the moment so were you going to say something i was but it might be too technical that you can't answer them. oh <laughs> well, well so I was, see. okay so yeah i know so if you have, like, if, you, if you've already know, you've been told by your doctor that your body produces too much estrogen, mm -hmm. would that be something that would be good to kind of balance things out? So I won't speak for the product, but right. what I can tell you is, is that anytime you have an imbalance in your hormones, being your estrogen too high or your progesterone's too high or too low, it is because the other ones are not balanced as well. Right, okay. Good and answer. so, that's yeah. That's awesome. Okay. Because a lot of people don't understand that. Exactly. And so that's why, you know, um, why women would want to use more of some of the oils that they say are more mm -hmm. for men because they've got 
an overabundance yes. of one thing or the other. So you can tone it down, you know, to to your liking, basically. Mm -hmm. You just try it and see if it works for you. Yes, because um, that it, most women have too high of estrogens, and we, we all have three types of estrogens, and the one that's responsible for um, the type of estrogen that's responsible for like cervical cancers and breast cancers, that's what most women carry too high of. And if we had proper levels of testosterone and progesterone, we wouldn't have that happen. Exactly. So all of these oils that say that they have support testosterone or support progesterone, they will support your body's natural ability to make those and enhance those. So you have to kind of figure those out. Um, and work with somebody who's knowledgeable in that area. Right. And, and once again, consult your reference guides. And use your body. Let your body tell you what it needs. Yeah. Because you'll know. If you're getting too much of one thing or another, you'll know very soon. Yeah, because if you get too much testosterone, you're going to start acting like a little rooster. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know if anybody has any teenage boys, but I've got two of them. So oh. Wendy would definitely know how those guys. I mean, they walk in. Oh, right. You're talking about Larry, right? right? My husband. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you know her husband? Yeah. So they walk in with their chest out, and they're ready to just, you know, blow a top at a moment's notice. They're kind of cocky. You know, they're never wrong. You know, that kind of stuff. And they always have a lot of energy. So that's, you know, I'm kind of picking on boys, but no, they do. My boys have tons of energy. It's just like they can just go and go and go. Right, and that is one reason why it would be good, you know, at certain times that women actually have a little bit more testosterone in their system. Because, oh, that's that I'm worried about. Right, because it, will, it does give us more energy. Yeah. It makes us a little more confident, and it definitely, I mean, we can get some stuff done. We can get some Mr. on. So we can get some confidence in this program <laughs> here. I mean, shoots. <laughs> Okay, now we can go on. Now we can go on. And so it does also, another thing that you'll notice with um, young, young men is, is that they often have a lot of anger. And so, um, so even though that it enhances, uh, you know, the testosterone, it doesn't just raise testosterone, it balances testosterone. Mm -hmm. So it can be used for, for people uh, just for balancing in general. So it also helps to calm down some of those anger issues that some guys or even women, you know, might experience. Um, it gives them a good sense of well-being and a good sense of self-esteem. Um, it's also really, really great for prostate health. So um, here's another little tip that I like to use. If you're not always looking for a libido enhancement, but just that well-being, that, you know, hormone balancing, keep the oils above the waist. Mm -hmm. And so that's your daily balance. When you're ready to enhance things, drop them below the waist. And that put them on about 20 minutes before is right. Or use idea. your Vitaflex chart. Yes, you can because definitely the use reflex your chart. The reflex points on the Vitaflex chart, is they are very effective. Yes, they are. And putting a little pressure with them as yes, well. And you can Google that. It's readily available. Mm -hmm. A lot of the things that we're talking about, we just assume some people have uh, experience with the Vitaflex, but you can Google that. And right. Just reflex all of these things. Exactly. Um, and same thing goes for the golden rod. So we talked about the mister and the other oil that I like to flip both ways about mid-cycle is the golden rod. And this oil gets a lot of jokes um, because most people just go, oh, it's the golden rod. You can use your imagination. That's really not what it is. It's not a blend. Somebody didn't give it that name. It's, it's actually a plant. And um, it's meant for increasing circulation. So when you increase the blood flow, when you increase the circulation, things naturally come up, you know, and so that's sort of the whole purpose of the goldenrod, but the goldenrod can be used in women too because we need increased circulation. We don't necessarily have things that rise, but we do need things to relax, and so if you increase your circulation to those areas, things are going to naturally relax out there for you and um, give you greater sensation. You know, whenever something has maximum blood flow to it, it's, it has a heightened sensitivity. Absolutely. So you can use your goldenrod. Um, look, here's ours with a roller top. Imagine that again. Roller top for the goldenrod. And this one is not half peppermint. It is not um, a spicy. Uh, we use ours undiluted, but check your reference guide. Make sure you're using it in the proper way. If you need to dilute it, then you need to go ahead and do that. Um, but that one can be applied below the waist as needed. And in the past, um, before we went to bottles that had white labels for vitality consumption, the goldenrod was labeled for internal use. 
Um, I'm hoping that we will get it back for internal use. Um, but I will say that all the oils in all the bottle, whether they're Vitality or not, are the same oil. Mm -hmm. So whether they're labeled for internal use or not, they are the exact same oil in the bottle. Um, so if you have some older reference guides and you can see how to use them for mm -hmm. internal use, um, it has a very similar property, the Goldenrod does, of when you take it in a capsule, whenever you take a few drops orally, whether you're a male or a female, it has a very similar effect to a very popular blue pill that is sold on the market for libido. Without the harmful side effects. With no harmful side effects. Um, although they do have the disclaimer that if you do ingest quite a bit of it, that you might have prolonged, uh, prolonged enhancement, prolonged relations. So, um, that you know. That could be a good side effect. That could be good, that could be not good. You know, I don't know. Yeah. Um, okay, so before I get into the second half of the cycle where we're actually cleaning things out, I want to turn it back over to Karen so we can finish playing, <laughs> being fun, and taking advantage of our fun time. Okay, so um, one thing that attracted me so much to basically using oil, oils in the bedroom is that, you know, with us trying to do so much toxin-free, um, it didn't make sense for us to still be using, um, you know, different kind of lubricants and different kind of massage gels or massage lotions or massage oils directly on our skin or on other parts. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to work so hard with everything else that we do in our daily life to get the toxins out from our laundry and get the toxins out from, you know, our dishes when we're doing our dishes. Uh, what we bathe in, what we wash our hair in, what we wash our face in. If we're working so hard to get all the toxins out of that, but yet we're still using commercial products for other things, yeah. then that's something that we, you know, really needed to look into, which was something that I was research, actively researching when I ran across the Lucy Libido group. And that's why it, it really stuck to me. And I said, oh my gosh, I love this. This, this girl, she is just crazy the way oh, that it's natural the, the way mm -hmm. that yeah the way that they have you know all she did was she took uh, information that she got out of different reference guides her and her girlfriends got together they made their recipes they used them so they're trying true recipes mm -hmm. and I will say that I have made most of the recipes that are in here um, out of natural products that I've got off of Amazon so it was a uh, food grade aloe vera gel food grade um whatever it was, polysorbate, something mm -hmm. another, and um, a couple of more things that were natural food grade products. So if, I'm good, if, if it's okay for me to put it in my mouth, I don't have a problem putting it somewhere else. Well, I'll tell you, whenever, before all of this came about, I mean, I've been married 23 years and we have not been able to ever really use some of those commercially prepared products because they always had a really adverse right. effect with me. They always caused some sort of infection or they've always caused some sort of discomfort for me. Um, they set you up for uh, harboring uh, yeast is what a lot of them do, the, the commercially prepared lubricant products do anyway. And I can say that I have experienced, um, you know, in the past I did have a lot of different infections from using different things. And since we've gone more natural, mm -hmm. um, I have not had any of those problems yeah. anymore. And I know it was because of those products that I was using. Because just like anything else, if, if you turn over the back of something and it has 15 to 20 different ingredients in it that you can't pronounce, much less read, and you don't know where they start and where they end, you don't need to be putting that on your body anyway. Yeah. So why would we put it anywhere else? And so I'm not like a huge DIY person. I've never been until I started with Young Living um, a couple of years ago. But there's some things that I will make um, from now on, and these blends will definitely be them. Mm -hmm. Whether I put anything, any oils in or not, because you can still use the different uh, recipes that are in here. You don't have to have all the oils that go in each one. If you have a favorite couple of things, you know, you can definitely use those. Yeah. So anyway, past all that little bit of housekeeping there. Um, one of the um, things that I do want to talk about first is um, definitely, you know, everybody knows the oils work on the limbic system of the brain. Okay. That's why we can put them in our diffuser. And when we inhale those oils, they go right into the limbic system and they start to work on what's mm -hmm. going on upstairs. Because even though, say, even if our hormones are right and it's the right time and everything else and everything's lined, the sun and the stars are all lined up correctly, if you've got too much going on upstairs, 
you're not going to be able to relax. That's always my thing, okay? If you have the squirrels running and you're thinking about that laundry list and that to-do list and what happened yesterday and who's coming over for dinner and how many classes we're having, you can't relax. You're not letting go. So that to me is very important to start out with, like in the beginning. So you're going to want to diffuse something like um, orange and a lang lang together. Favorites. I know. So I'm going to talk about those first because that's a, those are both of the orange um, is a very bright, snappy, flirty, fun smell. Okay. It's something that a lot of people, um, you know, relate orange, the orange smell to summer, summer and just having a good time and we'll just hang out. Um, there you go. Summer and having a good time and just having a great attitude because um, all citrus oils are going to be more or less like a natural mood lifter. Okay. So um, you can look that up in your reference books and get more information on that. But any citrus oil is going to be more of a natural mood lifter. So right off the bat, you're lifting your mood with orange. Okay. So um, orange helps us to let go of big people problems <laughs> for just a few minutes yeah. and be more in the moment, be, be more playful, playful, be more playful, be more yeah. in the moment, um, not, not so worried about everything because it really, it brings back a memory in your life of orange popsicles. Okay. When you were a kid, I loved orange popsicles when I was a kid and I didn't really put that together until mm -hmm. I really started I think orange is just a very overlooked oil. And so if you guys don't have orange, I think Love you it. all need to get it because really it can work great to tone anything down. Okay. So or something of, stinks. Or like something stinks. Anything stinks like oh, orange. Yeah, for sure. So a Lang Lang to me doesn't smell the best because it's very sweet. It's pretty heavy and sweet. A lot of people love a Lang Lang. It's not one of my favorites. Um, but I do have a fun tip about it. So it is a single, even though it has two names, it's a single, and it's in both uh, the blends Joy and Sensation. And many people love Joy because yes, it just, is. it is, people wear it as a perfume, it makes people happy, um, it makes you feel good on the inside. When people hug you, they think, oh gosh, what is that smell? It smells wonderful. So um, the Joy and Sensation both are going to have the Lang Lang in it. So um, one thing that I recently read is that I didn't know that the petals of the Lang Lang flower are only picked in the morning. And that's because if they pick them when they're at their peak, they deliver the highest yield of oil and the sweetest smell. So that's why Young Living's Lang Lang smells so wonderful is because that's when they pick it. They have workers that actually go out into the field. That's really neat and check the blooms mm -hmm. and check the different fields to make sure that they pick at when the flowers are at their peak mm -hmm. time. And so that's one reason why I feel like that it's just it's so special yeah. in that bottle. It smells different than other companies of Lang Lang's, which sure. most of our oils do, but that goes without saying. But I also read too that with the Lang Lang, they would use the flower petals to line the beds yes. of newlyweds in other countries, especially island countries like mm -hmm. Polynesia and Hawaii, places that are island countries. Um, and so I thought, gosh, well, there's got to be a reason why yeah. it that smell stimulates them. But it does, it's very balancing, not just to the males, I mean, not just to the females, but to the males as well. Right. And it really helps to tone down um, aggression mm -hmm. and uh, and to help release a lot of feelings of, like you said, to be able to relax. Right. And that's why I think I love it. We use... I blend a Lang Lang. I don't like it by itself either, but we blend it with almost everything. Mm -hmm. And so we always put it on at night, whether it's a mood time or not, just because mentally it lets me, it helps me to let right. things go. Um, so a couple of things that I had written down about it is that it increases the feelings of happiness, mm -hmm. adoration, does. and calms the mind. So um, yeah, it's definitely it one that... Um, it's a like, squirrel tamer, people. It's a squirrel tamer. So a lot of times <laughs> what I do in the evenings, um, mm -hmm. after as I'm cooking, cooking dinner is I'll go and actually start the Lang Lang in the orange in my bathroom diffuser because I have a diffuser in my bathroom because our house is sort of small so it actually laps through the house and you can just get that very faint smell and so that triggers your limbic system to start settling down and settling in and it says and come to the bedroom yeah <laughs> <laughs> it can say that too but yeah for sure it's definitely it's it would be um, something that just starts to set the mood to calm yeah. down because that's one thing, you know, if we're so busy um, just 
run in our life and run in our family's life, we have to slow down so that we can enjoy um, our partner, you know, and so that's, that's a lane lane. Um, okay, so, well, I guess we'll keep talking about, we can talk about Cypress now. So Cypress is another, um, one of the oils that's in the blends, uh, a lot of the recipes. Mm -hmm. And um, Cypress is uh, great for increasing blood flow. Yes. Okay. So um, it's going to increase circulation and increase blood flow. So it's not only going to be used in some of the recipes that we make uh, for a thigh, a thigh roller blend or a mm -hmm. lubricant blend. It's also great for recipes um, for like a dimple cream or a dimple remover mm -hmm. or a massage oil to rub on your hiney or um, tushy or whatever we're going to call it today. Oh, urinary urinary supply. Supply. And it's great for your nerves mm -hmm. yes, because it just, it, it's just a wonderful oil to increase circulation. Um, so it's also, um, I yeah, use the cypress on my lower abdomen pretty okay. much every night. Oh yes. So, um, I made a, um, can I say fat burner? I guess. Okay. She just said. So I made a fat burner <laughs> serum, basically, um, that was uh, cypress, grapefruit, and orange. Oh, yeah. Smells amazing does, together. Yeah. So I just use cypress, grapefruit, and orange together uh, with V6 and a dropper bottle. And the V6 is just that combination of um, oils that help to uh, either spread your oils further or to dilute them. The carrier oil, but yeah. the, the V6 absolutely is so silky on your skin. Yes, it's, it's nice. But I have been using that uh, fat burner in a dropper bottle, and it's wonderful. I love it. I love the way it smells, and it's definitely I can tell that it has actually reduced the appearance of things and reduced tissue because of the circulation that it provides yeah. and the. Um, the citrus oils really uh, just to help detoxify your body. Yeah, it's so, really good for um, increasing the circulation like people who have um, vein issues. Mm -hmm. And so very I've had so. very, I've had a lot of pregnancies and so my veins aren't very attractive on my legs. And so I'm not very diligent about using it, but when I was, I was seeing a big difference in the appearance of my skin. And so, that recipe is in the Lucy Libido book. Okay. They have a vein. A I vein can't keep a book. Every single time somebody comes over, they take it, buy it, so I'm out. So I have to see, I can't make any more. So another fun, I'm trying to hurry, I know everybody's. Uh, another fun blend that uh, Young Lemmy has a sensation. So um, sensation is actually, it does have a Lang Lang in it. it also, it's a blend, so it has a Lang Lang, Rosewood, and Jasmine. And so it does come in a massage oil as well. Um, it is, it, it really does smell nice. Um, you can definitely use it. It's very, um, it is very gentle, mm -hmm. I have found. I have used it without dilution, and it works wonderful. Um, there, I'm not sure what is in it that has, it almost gives like a, um, well, let me look, because I don't have that on me. No, I'm not oh. as far as, there's something in it that almost has a cooling effect, and I'm not sure, uh, I know it's not the Lang Lang, I don't know if it's the Rosewood or the Jasmine, but something in it kind of gives a cooling effect and more of a circulation type feeling, which, um, probably the coriander, so it has, oh, it does have coriander. Lang Lang, Jasmine, Geranium bergamot and coriander and so the first four of the are like very floral mm -hmm. and they're very balancing to female hormones and then coriander is really good for circulation too so that must be so good. i think it's the coriander that has a little slight cooling effect to it um so that may be it so yeah so we i, I love to use the sensation and the massage oil is great you can definitely use that as a personal lubricant as well mm -hmm. um so um a favorite tip on the sensation is because it does have, you know, that florally smell to mm -hmm. it. And, you know, if you're already kind of diffusing a lang lang and your uh, spouse is used to that smell, you can actually wear the sensation as a perfume. Yeah. So that, you know, as you're moving around or moving around on him, he already has the limbic system of the brain, once again, mm -hmm. emotional side is triggering his limbic system of the brain as anticipation is okay, something's going to happen with this. And so it's a way that we train our brain. I mean, that's the same thing that we're doing when we smell peace and calming yeah. or when we smell 
um, you know, valor or anything like that. I mean, it's triggering those responses in your brain for different um, responses from your body. And memory recall. And so memory recall. Every absolutely. single time he smells that, he's or you, to, or you. I mean, it's not just a human yeah. thing, but anytime you have, um, a, whether it's good or bad, whether you have an, any kind of an experience mm -hmm. associated with a smell, just like you have a, a you know, like the grandmother association smell, like maybe with rose. So it doesn't matter who the rose is on, you think about your grandmother. Right. And so if you smell, you know, that mister on your husband, and you had a very positive experience the last time, your brain's already in the positive mode thinking about, is this gonna happen again? And the same thing goes for your husband. Absolutely. So, yeah. so um, I'll talk about my three little, four little recipes that I made up. All right, okay. So these recipes, like I said, I got them right out on the Super Vito book, and um, they are called what they are in here. And so um, I did write down a couple things that are in here. Um, I don't know if we're gonna post the link to recipes. I highly recommend you guys get the book. You will laugh and you will. We will post a link to the Amazon where you can yeah. buy the book. They're only like $10 each. Cheap. They're, yeah. they're cheaper than you trying to write them down and make. I mean, yeah. seriously. So we'll post the link to the books underneath the video that after works. it's finished. Yeah. yeah. So this is juicy. <laughs> so get it out. But this is what they, it's under the thigh blends. So thigh blends. blends. Thigh you heard blends. that right. Okay. Thigh, thigh blends. Okay. Well, it's a row one. Okay. <laughs> And I just, I mean, you can see, I mean, I didn't get all fancy with my label. I mean, you can get super fancy. Okay, yeah. This see. is super fancy. I like to get fancy, and I, but I don't like to make, I just I don't like to make where at, but I just want to make the labels. I just, I wrote it on a piece of paper. And so this is called Like My Libido, and I actually don't make the labels. We have a great team member, Tasha, who does our label, mm -hmm. of course. But I like to tell her to make the labels because so I like pretty stuff. Don't separate. tell her I used a piece of paper. She's not going to be happy. She's not a so this is um, juicy. So let me tell you what's in it. Um, clary sage. It has clary sage. It has cypress. It has orange. And then it has your 25 drops of carrier oil. So when you roll this on your thighs, you do definitely, you feel a sensation of circulation. Mm -hmm. And then you get that clary sage that we love because we love the way it smells and it starts to balance out our hormones and starts to help us think, Oh, I feel a little bit more feminine. Do you know what I read? What? This is so, oh my gosh. Okay, close your ears if you're sensitive. Okay, so I read clary sage is what causes that juicy feeling. Oh, and I wonder so, it's called juicy. Yeah, and so <laughs> a drop of clary sage every day will start making you more juicy. And I then it said, that. but beware, because, no, I'm going to get it wrong, but it said, hang on a second, when it's dry, the sperm will die. When it's wet, a baby you will get. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, I read it today. I didn't make it up. <laughs> well, there you have it. There so you have it. it. That's juicy. That's juicy. Okay, <laughs> so we're not talking about that. Here we go. Move on. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hang on. I also, oh. this is a, a spray that I also read will have very similar effects because it's also got the clary sage in it. It's called Clara, Clara oh, Derm. And it's a really good spray. You can just spray it right on your little pupa. And it's really good for improving the skin health, the texture, um, especially postpartum, those kinds of yeah, things, or any type really of surgeries that. that you've had Absolutely. downstairs. Um, and so it's really good. It says it relieves minor skin irritation or itching, but it also has the clary sage. So it's a good juicy juice. And it's already sprayed and mixed up. You can order it just like that. Okay. okay. So, um, okay. So here's another, okay, so this is just like a lubricant, like those things that we would buy at the store for a, a lubricant. And I got this super cute little jar at a uh, little container from Amazon, came in a three pack. And they really, each recipe, I mean, it made about half, I haven't used a whole lot of it. Um, but it has, uh, this one has sensation, cypress, orange, and peppermint. Ooh, a little, so, little pep yeah, in your step. Pep in your step, and so that's the original blend, and that's a great one. And then this one is um, oh, see, look, I don't know if you can see that, but you see how the oils are separated. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. So just be sure you show. Oh, it's it. called fire and ice. Fire so you get the fire on top and the ice on the bottom. Okay. So this is a really nice one too. So it's going to have your uh, cypress. It has light the fire. Ooh, that's like one of that Wendy's way. favorite oils, and orange, and then it also has a drop of peppermint. So they all smell a little bit different, but the same. And so I add extra orange to all of them. Yeah, Everything orange. that I do, because it's just that, that reminds me of that having fun and letting go mm -hmm. and just being more it's tropical. 
it is truffle, and I love I love truffle. So me too. Um, so um, that it's it's a lot of fun to do that. Oh, one more. Okay, body butter. Oh yeah, the body butter. So this is okay. So we can show them the difference. Oh yeah. So, so this is goes. the um, this is the whipped uh, mousse that's in the Lucy Libido book, and you can see it's just a little bit. It's thinner. It's moussey. It's moussey. It's more. And they do say use it as a lubricant, mm -hmm. and um, I use it. And it's great. Um, this is the body butter recipe that we make for yeah, most all really of our butters for other things. So it's thicker. Mm -hmm. So it's all just going to be on your preference. A lot of these recipes, it's not going to matter one way or the other. Mm -hmm. It's just to your body's preference. So I use this one as like an all over body moisturizer mm -hmm. and you can add all of, not all of these oils, but whatever your oils are that your favorite, whether you want hormone balancing or romance enhancement and not use it as like a lubricant, but just use it as an all over body rub. Or you can make it thinner. Right. And and still, you don't necessarily have to use this as a lubricant. No, you can use, use that as a hand cream, cream or whatever. You can use it as a hand cream. You can use it as a foot rub. You can use it as aftershave, basically. Oh, yeah. It would be wonderful as aftershave. This has, um, I can't remember what I'll put in there. I think it's the same thing that's in there. Yeah, so the basic recipe is, so if you want it more stiff, if you like it stiff, so then you have... How you put two parts shea butter to one part uh, coconut oil and then the same amount of almond oil and that's going to give you a stiffer consistency. If you like a little bit moussey and a little bit thinner, then you're going to put equal parts mm -hmm. and then it's going to whip up more like a mousse. But the recipes are in the, that one's in the Lucy Libido book as well. Right. The thin and mousse then, one. Yes, definitely. So it's, once again, it's all going to be what you're most comfortable with. So um, you might not, you know, you may buy the stuff to make this and you think, oh gosh, I would, that's terrible, you know, but you may love the, um, the different recipes with just the V6 oil and that's mm -hmm. fine too. You just have to play with it and be playful and kind of go through and figure out what you, you know, like and what you don't like. And if, if you want to try some of the recipes out before you actually add the oils in to make sure that that's. Yeah. A good blend for you, that would be a great thing to do as well because then you're not wasting your oils if you didn't necessarily exactly. like the way it, yeah. you know, the consistency. Because this actually, see how little bit's in there? I have a huge container. When I make body butter, I make it in the, the biggest container I can get. And then when somebody wants to try it, I can just scoop out some. Or if I want to try a new recipe, I'll just put a little bit, try the recipe, and I didn't waste a whole right. big thing of body butter. Because our oils are expensive, we just want to make yeah. sure that we're using them frequently. Yeah. Right. So, um, so those are the oils that I'm going to talk about today. Wendy's got a few more things to talk about. Um, you finish up. You got to finish up. So One thing I will say, you mentioned that some of the oils are pricey. Some of the oils we're going to talk about today are a little more on the pricey side, um, but that's because they're super powerful and they do some really amazing things. Mm -hmm. But what I have found is, is that if you lay this book by your bedside, your husband won't care what the hell you're spending. <laughs> That's true. He won't. I mean, he won't. I mean, for real. I think this is the best gift to give a new person. It is really great. So that was um, one of the things that, um, you know, in, in so our tip for the day. Yeah. If you don't get anything from this, get the fact that if you lay that by your bed, you can just spend whatever you want. I didn't say that. You didn't hear that here. Okay. Um, all right. So we're going to move into the second half of your cycle because now we're finished having fun and things are calming down and we're getting ready for the, for the end inside the big red river. And so this is the time where your body's going into cleansing mode. It's getting ready to clear everything out that it's built up over all this time. It's built, built, built the lining. It's built, built the, the eggs. And now it's either preparing for pregnancy or it's ready to release. For most people, it's going to be ready to release. We don't all get pregnant every month. Thank you, Lord. Um, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And so um, in that second half, which you're really going to be always in your mind thinking of after, after, your, after your fertile time, you're going to be thinking of supporting your body for the flesh. And this is a really great time to support your liver. And so you want to stay super hydrated. And you also are, one of the reasons why we can't keep our hormones balanced as women is because um, we're not flushing enough and we have excess estrogen. We talked about that in the beginning. So our liver is not doing its job because it has too many hormones, usually too much estrogen, recirculating, recirculating, recirculating because it can't get it out. And so it builds up in your body and it causes this high level of estrogen. 
So, do I have a reason to ingest uh, oils in your body? Exactly. So, when you're ingesting your oils, your citrus oils, you're helping your body flush and get rid of those extra chemicals, mm -hmm. extra hormones, extra toxins. So, really, really support your liver. Use um, anything in Young Living that has Juva in front of it. Juva is like the Latin prefix for liver. Mm -hmm. And so, there's like Juva Flex. This is one I use, Juva Flex oil, and you're going to rub those right over your liver. And... Um, there's a um, supplement like Juva Tone. So really kind of look into those Juva supporting products because as women, we really need to support our liver all the time. It's really important for hormone balance and hormone health. Um, also during this time, we're really, really going to bump up our usage of Progestins Plus. Oh, yes. We didn't talk about that one in the oh, beginning, yeah. but that's one oil that you can use all throughout your cycle. You want to use it a little lighter in the first half and a whole lot heavier in the second half because you're getting ready for that fall. So can I add? Yeah. Okay, so um, I'm still, well, Wendy and I both are basically premenopausal at this point. Yep. And so about the 14th to 15th day into my cycle, which is when that your hormones have, they were level, pretty much level, and then you start to get some drop-offs going on, which is what we're talking about now. That's exactly when I start using my progestins because mm -hmm. what happens is, I start waking up at night, mm -hmm. okay? I can't go back to sleep. After about two o'clock, I start waking up off and on. Uh, I, have to, I have to get up and urinate a lot during the night, uh, probably two or three times for whatever reason, uh, hormone related, I'm sure. Uh, I start getting hot. I can feel like those night sweats or those mm -hmm. hot, I wouldn't even say hot flashes or total, they're not complete hot flashes or complete night sweats but it's definitely not like the first half of the month. So the first night that I don't sleep all night long, that's when I know my body's telling me I need that progestins plus. Yeah. So then I start putting it on, um, I'll put it on in the mornings and then at night before bed from then until the end of my cycle. Yeah, and this is the progestins plus, this is what it looks like. Um, it comes with just a regular top, but I like to put a roller on mine so that it's super easy to roll on. Um, in all of the areas to put on, the hormone-related areas for men and women are on your inner ankles and the tops of your feet. And so you can apply it there. You can also apply it um, to your pulse points and any thin-skinned areas as well. But um, Progestins Plus actually helps to support your normal progesterone levels. Now, if you know anything about your cycle at all, the progesterone in your body is naturally its highest at that day 14 or 15 or mid-cycle, whatever that is for you. And so that's when you're ovulating. But right after that, it starts to take this big, big downfall. And that dramatic decrease is what actually makes you start your cycle when your body completely loses its progesterone levels. Right. It's the fallout. It's when the I'm fall. Asleep. When that's she's not I sleeping. Asleep. And so it is, that is definitely a hormone-related issue when people, when, especially women, have insomnia um, or trouble sleeping. It's usually a hormone-related, almost always it's a hormone-related issue, and it's usually a sign of adrenal fatigue. Mm -hmm. And so it's for people who, you know, play hard and work harder. Yeah. And so we'll use the Progestins Plus. It really supports the thyroid. It really supports the whole endocrine system and the pituitary, pituitary glands, which is your master of your hormones. So even if you've had a hysterectomy or if you're past your time, your prime time of your life and you've already gone through menopause, yeah. you can still use Progestins Absolutely. Plus. It smells great. It has, uh, it's made from wild yam. Mm -hmm. It has, it does have a peppermint in it and some more things. And it is just, it just, I love the way it smells. It is nice. It's very nice. And plus it's supporting all your other uh, mm -hmm. systems as well. So there's no reason not to use it. Right. And I noticed it as well. Um, I get actually more crabby the week before my cycle. When those levels of progesterone are taking that huge, huge turn, I start getting really crabby. And so when I'm getting really emotional and really crabby, I carry that progesterone plus around with me and just start applying it. And what I find is more helpful is that when it's really emotional, it's more helpful for me to apply above the waist. Mm -hmm. So like the neck, the back of the neck, the pulses. Um, my, you know, my pulse is here. And then for, for just straight, you know, supporting balance, I'll go with the ankles and the tops of the feet. And so I usually use the Progestins Plus strictly on the first half of the cycle on my feet and ankles. And then the second half, I just ramp it up to all over as needed. 
I just put it wherever. Wherever. Wherever you can slap it, it's a good place to put it. Right. Um, but the progestins is just an amazing, amazing oil. It is thought to be the woman oil. But yes. men also have progesterone. And so if your man, if you know that he has issues balancing progesterone, it would be a great oil for him as well. Um, but in general, they're typically men are not super low on progesterone. Right. They're usually a lot lower on uh, the testosterone. Um, the shoe tran is what we would consider the male balancing oil. And so these are kind of like, you know, the counterparts, the female and the male, the progestins and the shoe tran. Shoe-tron, tomato, tomato, I'm not too sure how you want to say it, but it's S-H-U-T-R-A-N. And it smells fantastic. And here's something about why. Here's the why. Oh, I forgot to talk about Idaho Blue Spruce. We'll get okay. that. She's getting that. Okay, we'll get it. But your man is going to wear this, and when he wears it, it releases the chemicals in your brain that says, wake up, wake up, pheromones, your man is ready. And so... When a woman smells it on a man, when you smell it, it smells great. It and you can wear it on yourself because it has all of the things that support our endocrine system. It honestly has everything that is very balancing and calming to anybody. It has blue spruce, a limey lime. That's supposed to be a female thing, but it's not. Hanoki, coriander, again, that was in the sensation. Mm -hmm. uh, lavender, cedarwood, it calms squirrels down. So this is really great to balance yourself and your husband. I like to diffuse this at night as well. I never put it in um, So we have one with a roller top and we have one to diffuse as well. Oh, awesome. But again, if you have your husband apply this above the waist every day as a cologne, it just smells really, really nice. And it's going to help balance out his mood his and mood. It's help a great him. mood dot for guys. Yes, absolutely. Because men go through this change of life as well. And so, you know, that midlife crisis that they talk about, this is a really great oil for balancing out their moods and their anger and their frustrations and everything like that. And then you can also apply extra of it down below the waist whenever you're ready for better mood enhancement as well. But this is a great cologne. It really attracts women. You might use it with caution because it might attract some women at his draw. Um, but we just love it and it just smells amazing. And then I was just going to say, so the Idaho Blue Spruce is it's in it, there. It is very heavily laced with Idaho yeah. Blue Spruce. And so if you do any reading on Idaho Blue Spruce, it is definitely, um, it's thought of as the nature's version of the blue hexagon pill as well. Mm -hmm. So um, it's not currently labeled as a vitality oil, but again, if you check your desk reference yeah. books or your other reference books, uh, there are recommendations in there that you can take internally, but once again, do your research on that for sure. Mm -hmm. So it's a great one to mix with um, the V6 or a massage, any type of, um, once again, like a sensation yeah, massage oil. You can mix it with sensation, so you can mix it with V6, you can mix it with regular coconut oil. Mm -hmm. um, I don't recommend mixing it with anything else that doesn't just have the one ingredient. Um, so you can mix it with that and actually use it as a massage Mm -hmm. um, for him on his inner thighs or other places and it really um, helps things to stand up at attention basically without the harmful side effects of um, standing in attention too long after the right. fact. And so that's um, you know a really important thing that you want to think about and why we're using all of these um, these oils and these different things is because we want to get past those harmful side effects that we would have mm -hmm. um, with other things. So um, yeah, it makes a nice foot rub too. One of the mm -hmm. other tips that I saw is that um, because your feet have the Vitaflex points mm -hmm. on them. So, you know, foot rubs to me are very relaxing in and of themselves. So right away, you're calming your critter brain down by saying, oh my gosh, you're just rubbing my feet. Right. And then second of all, you're putting pressure on those points that naturally relax you and start those emotions to turn. So for your, for your man, you could, you know, do a shoe train rub and then top it off with a little golden rod, you know, but then you need to be ready to play. So then you need to follow that up with some sensation and progestins and get ready. And then you can also use the mister for either one of you. So I like to do, maybe we'll do it back here. Okay. So here's your guy. Here goes guy and girl in the middle. And then there's the girl. Yeah. So it's a great way to play. It's a great, you know, thing to help to balance your hormones, but they make fantastic foot rubs. And so again, you could take like your, you know, your thicker body. This, I would prefer a thicker foot rub than a yeah, thinner foot rub. 
So you could make, you know, the dude rub and the dudette rub, you know, whatever you want to call it. So your kids don't know what's by your bedside, um, you know, but in his, you can have some shoe tran and some golden rod and or mister. And then in yours, you can have some mister, some sensation and progestins. Right. Or whatever your combination. I'm telling you that book is loaded with recipes. Yeah, there's a lot of fun stuff in there. You can just play around and experiment with what works, make small batches so that you're, you know, you kind of realize what's going on or try the oil by itself first before right. you start putting it in a bunch of stuff. So um, in the Tame and the Dragon book, I mean, it's really wonderful. It was one of the first uh, hormone-related books that I was ever introduced yeah. to as far as with the oils, and it really goes into great depth. Um, it was written by two chiropractors, and it goes into great depth about um, just how to balance things out and how things work and what foods mm -hmm. to eat, which is very important. If yes. you're not yes. eating the correct foods, um, you're not feeding your glands, your glandular mm -hmm. system, and so it's not going to work to optimal uh, performance anyway so that's definitely something that you have to consider yeah we can put all this stuff on our bodies and we can ingest this stuff to help clean out you know to, to help detoxify our system and help support our system but uh, you know you still have to have a proper diet yeah and especially um, the right kind of fat the right we, kind of fat we tend to eat a whole lot of bad fat and we starve our body of good fats like the omega-3s omega-6s and things like that and your endocrine system will not work properly without the proper omegas right and that's, so it goes that's into a too. lot of detail in that book about that and that's one reason why i wanted to bring that up i do yeah. want all you guys to know about that and um and really look at that and do your research on that as well because that's very important if you don't have if your brain is not functioning properly and your glands aren't functioning properly Mm -hmm. From just the get go, I mean, sure we can do all this stuff and and get all this stuff to try to work, but it's going to work the best if you start balancing yourself from nutrition wise. First. Yeah, and I'm really glad that you brought up the point about relaxing because if I can't calm my brain down, nothing else is going to happen. Right. And exactly. so, before we leave, I just want to say my favorite calming the you know calming the brain down and calming the squirrels is tranquil. And so this has a blend of like cedarwood and lavender and some other great stuff in it, but it's ready to go. It's ready to roll. And it doesn't just work at night. It's a great daytime oil too. So I find whenever I have difficulty focusing, just rub some tranquil on. And then my other two favorites are, of course, the tried and true Young Living is well known for peace and calming and valor. And so... Getting yourself in the right frame of mind, getting things the right mood. So, you know, all those great things about Valentine's Day, they kind of have it right. You know, you got to set the tone, you got to set the mood, you got to get the flowers, you got to get the stuff ready. You bring know, the wine, please. Bring, bring your wine. wine. Don't light the candles, though. Those are toxin. Get your diffuser. <laughs> so, get the little electric candles for the ambiance tonight. Yeah. Good point, good point. Um, yeah, because the candles and all the synthetic fragrances are totally killing your thyroid, like totally. So set your mood with your diffuser, have some fun, pay attention to the details, let everything go, and happy Valentine's Day, happy guys. Valentine's Day. Thanks for joining us. We yeah. really appreciate it. We love you guys. Happy Valentine's Day. Goodbye. Bye. All right, I'm going to have to get up and turn it on. Yeah. <laughs>